are you new to City Heroes or a returning player to the game and wanting to get more information about the Council Emmy group? I'm Controlled Chaos and in this video I'm going to go over that group with you. Let's get started. First off, the Council is very military orientated like the fifth column. The difference is, is in their color schemes and some of their units. The color scheme is green and gray are their favorite colors. They like to add in some black every so often and so, stuff like that. Also, you'll notice that the minions will have either a military cap on or they'll have a helmet on with a full face plate with just eye holes in it. And then the lieutenants will actually have a higher height and a bit bigger of a size now their favorite weapons that they like to use is rifles both regular bullets and energy rifles they also like using for the lieutenants gatling guns grenade launchers and all of the units like to throw grenades when they get into melee however they will throw that basic punch but what they really like doing is they like doing the martial arts kicks. They like doing the roundhouse, the high kick, and things like that. Now, with that being said, there are more units to this than just those. They also have robots that they use. And these robots are really cool. Their armor has got this black with red highlights to them. And then... For the arms, they're just this metal look to them and really interesting look that catches your eye. And what's nice about them is one hand on the arm is a claw. The other hand is a ranged weapon that looks like a blaster. And when it blasts you, it almost looks like an energy blast from uh, the energy set in a red tone, which is really cool. It's a little bit different, a little bit thinner, a little bit longer, and doesn't have as much of a bubble effect around it as the blaster's energy effects does, but it's still cool looking. On top of that, there's also vampires that you can run across. And these vampires look cool. They got a whitish gray skin. They're bald. They got the vampire ears and fangs. And then they have these green gloved uh, hands that have claws to them. And when they attack in melee, that's what they use. But their ranged abilities are a lot dealing with the dark magma. They like to steal your life and things like that, which was very fitting to vampires. But we're not done there. They also have werewolves. And the werewolves are big and beefy. They, they got these big, broad shoulders and big arms and then a slender waist and thin legs and look really cool and they can come in multiple colors of gray and brown and stuff like that and are really nice looking and when they attack they predominantly use like super strength as their ability they'll hit you really hard they'll rip up chunks of ground and throw them at you and that's really sort of a cool way of doing things it's a unique group that was added in after the launch of say heroes and was sort of to complement and be sort of a shot off faction of the fifth column and i think they did a really great job with this when fighting this group there's nothing really predominantly that you need to focus on when fighting them so take them how you will and the way you take normal groups take them like you normally would your skulls and your hellions and ones that don't have any thing to worry about sort of like in circle of thorns you have the life mages they have to worry about in specific mages or in the sky raiders you have to worry about the engineers and the teleporters this group you don't have that kind of thing to worry about where you have to be dead serious strategic when fighting them because certain units cause more of a problem than others so, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, 
please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and have a great day.